Hey guys, Ron Man here, and since the winter season is upon us, I thought it'd be a neat idea to take a look at some of my favorite winter stages or areas in video games. In Banjo-Kazooie, there are two levels with snowy themes, and I like them both a lot. The first is Freeze Easy Peak. Most of the winter slash Christmas set pieces you'd expect to see are here. The igloo, a Christmas tree, presents, a gigantic snowman, and so on. This level, along with the music, creates such an enjoyable Christmas atmosphere that I always look forward to during my playthrough of this game. The other level is Click Clock Wood. Now, this level has a seasonal motif, and I really like it. Of course, winter is one of the seasons, and this time it feels more like a cold hibernation than it does a Christmas wonderland. The beehive is mostly gone, Eerie's nest is empty, Mumble's on vacation, and the squirrels are sleeping. The whole forest is, as I said, hibernating, except for these snowmen who are trying to kill you. Oh. Assholes. But seriously, both these levels have such great atmosphere, and that's why they're on this list. Recently, I did another playthrough of Secret of Mana, and while I love this whole game, this wintry forest I think is spectacular. You first arrive in this snow-covered village. After you rest at the inn and buy whatever supplies you need, you then proceed through the forest. The trees give off a beautiful neon glow, and the eerie music really helps to give this snowbound forest a taste of winter. I really enjoy this part of the game, and I like to take my time here leveling up. During the SNES Drunk's review of this game, he mentions this forest and how it's a place where you can just hang out and listen to the music, and he's absolutely right. Music is such an important part of any video game, and Secret of Mana has one of the best OSTs on the system. Oh, and you also run into Rudolph and Santa. I played through Dragon View for the first time last winter, and I really enjoyed it. My favorite part of the world is the vast snow field. Because you explore the overworld in a first-person perspective, I feel like I'm actually in this snowy field, even though I'm actually sitting in my nice warm game room with a coffee or tea. Honestly, there's not much here other than what you see, but for what it is, I think it's well done. I like the fact that you're walking through a blizzard while everything is covered in snow. In fact, I've always been a fan of precipitation in video games. Another thing, too, is that this snow-covered field is extremely relaxing. This is because of the calming music that fits this part of the game perfectly. Like the snowy forest in Secret of Mana, I just like to spend time here. World 5 is the snow-themed world of Yoshi's Island, and level 5-1 is called Blizzard, and is a great introduction to snow. In some video games, the snow stages just have snow. You don't get to see how it unfolds. Well, in Yoshi's Island, you do. It starts off like any other level, that is, grassy with clear skies. Then it starts to snow. As the level progresses, the snowstorm gets more intense until you're in a full-blown blizzard. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Throughout the first part of the stage, you'll have Lakitu trying to hit you with fire. Eventually, you'll make your way to an icy cave filled with penguins and icicles. When you come at the other side, the rest of the stage is covered in snow. Well, that was fast. I like that when you come in contact with the trees, the snow falls off. Overall, I just think this is a neat winter stage, and because the transition to snow is so well done, I think it's one of the highlights of the game. Blizzard Buffalo is one of many Mavericks in Mega Man X3. His stage is obviously snow-themed, but the somber music and decrepit backgrounds really hit home how bleak and lifeless winter can feel. You start in the open city, or what's left of the city, and as you begin to make your way through the stage, you'll notice that it's not just a straight path, which I really like. Mega Man X3 overall takes advantage of X's ability to climb walls, and therefore there's much more vertical movement, and of course, this stage is no different. As you blast your way through the twisted corridors of the underground, you'll eventually pop back up to the surface. You'll notice that it's now snowing, but you can stop it should you choose to destroy this machine. In X1, beating certain stages would affect other stages. The same can be said for X3. If you've beaten Volt Catfish, all the lights in this stage will be on. Just a neat touch that I appreciate. Toward the end of the stage, you can discover a capsule which contains the new leg enhancement. In my opinion, this is the best leg upgrade in any Mega Man X game. You can air dash horizontally or vertically. Finally, the fight with Blizzard Buffalo can be a fun one, unless you know how to cheese him.
So there you have it guys, those are just some winter themed levels that I really enjoy. I want you to leave down in the comments some winter themed levels that you really enjoy and why. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help Ron Man Gaming grow. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a Merry Christmas.